Hello guys, welcome back again to today's uh, weekly market live analysis, we, which, um, which in today's um, video we, we generally going to be discussing what is happening to Bitcoins and the general crypto market um, price um, over time. So it's been, it's been crazy rally over the past over the past um, week now. We've seen Bitcoin move all the way from thirty thousand down um, up and until forty two thousand dollar mark, uh, which was where the market closed for the month um, before we have seen before this present correction uh, we see currently in the price action so the big question that has been going overall is um, is this was that a rejection um, was that a rejection or was that just another bull trap before the trend continues to head in a in a downward um, direction or are we just kind of like seeing a consolidation or probably an accumulation before um, we get to see this more move to the upside and probably to new all-time highs and to new all-time highs as well. So that has actually been the big question of our time. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about what you really truly need to understand about the current market and what price is more likely going to do over time. So, and don't forget, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, tick the bell icon so you always get notified whenever we post content like this because it's going to be, uh, it's always, always a weekly stuff and normally on a daily, we also get to push videos that get to keep you informed about market trends and circles and what you literally need to understand about the global financial market. It's been, it's been, it's been awesome moment for Bitcoin and the general crypto market. It's been awesome moment for Ethereum. It's been awesome moment for AXS. We've been seeing this um, crazy price movement to the upside over time and the crypto market is looking like it's not really, it's not really tired you know, to cover more movements to the upside. So nice to have you back again. So we're briefly going to look at what the crypto market has been doing over time to better help us understand what the market has been doing. So before we get started with today, top of the news, we already have it is Louis Vuitton. We are at top of the news. <laughs> top of the news, uh, we already have it that Louis Vuitton to launch um, NFT game with artwork from people. So like I always talk about this, that we, um, that we've been seeing this steady, steady, um, steady adoption of, of of the crypto market, steady adoption of crypto to every to every sector um, in the global market. So we're currently seeing it right now. We're currently seeing um, Louis Vuitton. Um, having this positive sentiments about the crypto market and wanting to adopt it to their, to, 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 to their ecosystem. So this is something, um, something very, very important for the crypto market, something very huge for the crypto market that I always talk about. That as long as we keep seeing this adoption, as long as we keep seeing companies, industries get to adopt crypto, get to, you know, get to you know, adopt crypto, as long as that keeps happening, we always normally uh, we see this money coming to the crypto market. And as long as money keeps coming into the crypto market, the more the global cap gets to increase and that's always normally has this positive correlation with price action. So this is huge um, news for the general crypto market as this is about to happen and we expect some more price actions to uh, follow up um, with regards. So we're briefly going to look according to Coin360, the general, um, what the general market has been doing over time. So according to Coin360 right now, Bitcoin is currently trading at the 39,400 level with about, um, <laughs> with about, um, this so far um, in the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has been able to do um, a 3.5 percent after we saw this recent low sitting at around it, it, um, 37,600 approximately. And then we have our Bitcoin dominance still sitting around the 46 points uh, for the six um, percent or approximately 47 percent there we have it right there and then we have the ethereum literally every market literally all us markets agree we have ethereum still trading above the 260 uh, 2600 uh, level and that's about a nine percent movement over time and then we have bmb other dot is dodge and all literally green and then we have uh, stable coins still still green and uh, of course of course at some point it's always going to change which 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 also tells us this um this constant flow constant flow of um the stable coins into the crypto markets all right which is telling us that uh which tells us that uh, over time this current movement is being supported it's, it's being supported we've seen volume move from stable coins to the crypto market so that's it on the daily so we're briefly going to look at what bitcoin and the general market is being it has been doing over time on the weekly or, or on the weekly um time frame so on the in the past in the past um, week we've seen bitcoin um still down by minus 1.8 percent this is because um the last week bitcoin was trading at 40,000, and this week we've not actually made a new highs so price is currently trading at last week um last week highs and is currently putting it on the at a loss and then we have still on the weekly we have the stable coins green which is telling us that at this particular point we're seeing volume from the crypto market to the stable coins that's on the weekly so and we have generally our odds markets ethereum uh, the bnb all literally green on the weekly which is telling us that generally the crypto the odds market has been 
outperforming. They have been doing well, regardless of how the Bitcoin um, has just been on this consolidation phase, which as well I'm going to I'm going to say is it's just a weekly pullback, and uh, of course the monthly close as well, uh, as well a monthly um, pullback before trend gets to continue in an upward direction. So that's it for Bitcoin, and um, we're going to look at the real Bitcoin stars, uh, price stars, and the general crypto market price stars according to Nomics. So um, let's look at what Bitcoin has been doing in the past one week according to Nomics. So um, so according to Nomics, we're going to look at what Bitcoin has been doing, uh, the Bitcoin real price stars according to Nomics. So in the past, um, uh, okay, according to Nomics price, um, we've seen the volume change in the past, um, in the past one week sitting around minus um, 14%. And then we have, um, we have um, the dominance still, still, still. Uh, then we have the market cap change, I mean, still around 3.5%. Um, and then we have, um, we have our fiat volume change still literally down, minus 34%, um, which is due to the recent correction we've been having in, um, in, um, in price action of less. So we're going to look at what Ethereum has been doing over the past one week. So um, Ethereum right now is still over the past one week. This is, this is really, 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 this is really, really something very nice for Ethereum as it's been on the steady, steady move to the upside. Ethereum has finally, finally get a break above this particular bearish control territory and is currently heading for probably new highs, like probably new highs. So Ethereum right now still still putting up this huge move to the upside and we have the market uh, the market cap change in the past and for our, uh, the past week still still uh, above still still over eight percent and then we have the transparent you have the fiat volume um, still 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 way up high uh, all right okay still down the fiat volume still down but minus eight percent so Ethereum is currently still very healthy there's literally nothing wrong with the Ethereum market as long as Bitcoin um, remains healthy as long as that is still going to remain healthy so we go we're going to look at what bnb has been doing over the past 24 hours to better understand yeah so bnb okay the binance coin has actually been performing real great in the past um in the past one week we have a still price change still sitting around three percent um barely at a 12 dollar and then we have uh, the market capture is still up at least um it's um we have three point seven percent right there then we have the fiat volume change still um Still, still down minus uh, minus nine percent, and just literally the crypto market has just been seeing this this um, this healthy consolidation as Bitcoin uh, consolidate uh, probably consolidate for the next move to the upside. So that's it for the um, that's it for. Um, uh, that's it for price stats according to Nomics. So we're briefly going to look at um, the crypto fee and grid index to better help us understand what what our traders like you and me are currently thinking right now. But okay, okay, right now, uh, okay, okay, I missed something here. So right now, let's look at um, according to Nomics. We're going to look according to the nom according to Nomics coins. That has been that was recently added. Um, uh, the percentage they have been able to cover o o over time. So. Let's look at um, coins recently added um, according to Nomics. Um, to okay, let's look at coins recently added to Nomics. Okay, and all right. Um, right now we have in the state of the crypto market. Still, the crypto market is still sitting around the 1.76 trillion, and um, which is which is up about um, the four point, which is up about um, with um, 4.7 price uh, increase over the last day. And this values all crypto assets at at twenty three percent of the gold uh, market. Okay, so the crypto market, the, the general crypto market cap is been seeing is has been seeing this crazy move to the upside. So that's it for the general, the global crypto market, and um, that's it for the global crypto market. Still, still, um, still very, very, very healthy. Still very healthy, and still seeing this move to the upside. So according to Nomis, let's look at the coins um, added so far. So just added so far, according to Nomis, we have the. Um, we have the only so literally down down 13 percent we have the we have the um we have this fanada this chick coin we have the bmbp we have the ninja swap all literally up then we have the gold pegas x fin and this down we have the we have the we have the modern uh unique crypto so we're going to look at the crypto market top gainers in the past uh, uh, according to nomics what's been added according to nomics then we have one inch whoa this is impressive one inch is done above it's done over 132 percent this is incredible and then we have AXJ is the XG infinity up um, with about 18 percent and then we have the tall chain is up with about um, 18 percent we have the quant up um, 18 percent uh, what next do we have 
and we have compound up um, top. Same, we have polka dot up 11%. What do we have next? We have the liquid staked up um, 11%. We have the telcoin up 9%. What do we have next? We have the theta token up um, 9%. And then we have the Uniswap protocol up um, 9%. What next do we have? Okay, that's so far according to the mix, that's what's been added. And then we have our global uh, crypto market cap still sitting around the 1.7 trillion mark. So briefly, we're going to look at the crypto market, the general crypto market fee and great index to be able to understand what traders like you and I are basically feeling right now about the market if, if we're having them scared. Of course, of course, literally, literally. Um, who is going to be scared about the market price actions, recent price actions? Because they're going to be like price is currently is still rejected at a forty k thousand dollar mark. We we're still coming down. That's kind of like going to be the sentiment. But we're going to analyze the fee and grid index to better understand what price what traders uh, like you or me are currently thinking right now about the market. So according to the fee and grid index, we have in right now that there's still fear in this market. You see if you're in the market. Remember the last video, the last stream we had, this was currently sitting at the grid level and now we have in it sitting at fear, which is telling us that at this particular point we are seeing traders like you and I um, being fearful about the recent price action, which is something which is something normal because over time, we've been seeing 40k reject price. So, going seeing 40k still reject price again still poses fear generally to every trade in the market. So, this this data is quite correct. So, we're going to look at let's look at the graphical representation of the fee and grid index um, to better understand what's actually. Let's let's look at our emotions plotted according to the fee and grid index. Let's scroll down. Let's move down to the graph. Um, so our, this, this is our emotions. This is our emotions being plotted according to the fear and grid index. This is what you and I are feeling right now in the markets being plotted. So as you can see, this is like I always, I have always been talking about this chart over time that the fear and grid index uh, was was on a downtrend and we broke above it, right? And now we currently see price more like protesting. <laughs> retesting where we broke out from. So this is this is currently a healthy retest. I'm going to say, which is also in line with um, with um, the general crypto, um, which, is, which is in line with the normal weekly correction on Bitcoin price action, which uh, which of course is generally normal. It's generally healthy for the crypto market. So, um, but then we're going to look at the Google Google trends to better help us understand why the fee and grid index is currently having a negative slope. And why are we currently seeing fear um, in the market right now? So let's look at the Google trends right now to be able to understand what is actually putting this fear and grid in there to see this correction over time. Now we have the poly launcher ones. Um, we have, um, according to Google trends, uh, of course, it's been this, this is, um, we have difference from Bitcoin, what you need to know about. So, so CBS proposed digital currency, oh, this is positive. And then we have Google New. Um, currency uh, ad policy goes into effect. Future Bitcoin this is positive, and uh, we we own. Oh wow, <laughs> this is this this is <laughs> bad spelling. Okay, adults Bitcoin cash ABC newly rebounded at eco. This is positive, and then we have South Africa Bitcoin here. Yes, okay, um, uh, court grants the Kijiji authority to track missing Africa free crypt investor funds or regulation. This is positive, and okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Uh, let's keep going. This is ego token launch. Okay, uh, this is positive. This is literally just I, can't, I don't see much of a, a, a negative news according to Google. Is okay. Let me see. Okay, according to what we've seen so far, this is kind of like 50 50 percent, 50 percent positive and 50 percent negative, which is as we are getting to pull our fee and grid index on an indecisive uh, uh, phase. You know, we are seeing this consolidation, which is also in line with recent price action before um, price, of course, get to heads to an upward direction. So that's it for Google Trends. So we now let's go to let's go into real price actions to better understand what Bitcoin is um, doing and what we're more likely going to see price do over time according to risk price actions. So let's look at Bitcoin on the um, on, on the one hour time frame to better understand what the market has been doing. So um, I like earlier today on a premium on a premium channel I published this and don't forget if you if you're watching me right now you might as well 
peak interest. You might as well pick interest in joining our, um, our, our premium um, community where we get to keep updates generally about what's happening in the crypto markets and how you can make profitable trades and how you can trade better. So the, um, you can check on the description or visit Double School and pick the trade and make money course. So you get added to our community where you normally get on-time updates about market price actions and what you're more and, 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 the, and, and, and the opportunities that are available in the blockchain ecosystem. So right now, right now, like I published this shortly before the market um, saw this form, I said the premium bear trap. So we saw price, over time the price has been retracing since we started this week, price um, formed this um, falling wedge, uh, which is normally, which is normally um, a pattern that always gets a result to the upside. And then we saw price broke above it, which of course our target is always the beginning of the wedge, sitting around for the $1,000 mark. And going above for the $1,000 mark, like I said, I have two lines here, the white lines and the red lines. Going above the $41,000 mark, as well gets to validate more push to new highs um, that, um, that, that is being suggested according to the uh, weekly and, and the monthly as well. So we're briefly going to look at um, Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. On the weekly, let's look at the Bitcoin and macro time frame to better understand what's been going on. So like I always have it here, that as long as we maintain the 1.61 if we not a station level, which, uh, which is always, which is also in line with the um, which is also um, in line with the $1.1 trillion market cap. The general crypto market is healthy and it's more likely going to see this move to the upside. So Bitcoin currently still maintain it while validating this present move we are seeing currently to the upside. And after our last weekly close, um, we saw price come back to retest that particular um, price, <laughs> that, that, that particular price sitting at the 38500 level um, with, a little, with a little bit of... Um, um, correction to the upside, which are uh, which I tag a, a premium, a premium bear trap. Okay, so uh, still on the weekly time frame, still on the macro scale, Bitcoin is generally healthy as long as we are above the thirty eight five hundred dollar mark on the weekly. With the trend is, or is the trend is your friend until the end of the trend. And at this particular point, the trend is shifted to the upside, and we uh, we and we have not yet start, uh, started seeing any sort of. Uh, any sort of weakness in recent price action. So let's look at the crypto general crypto total market cap to better understand what's been going on and what you're more likely going to see price do. So just like I said, this is more like this is this 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 is like um, this is this always has this positive correlation with the crypto market. So it's generally it's generally held there sitting at above the one point uh, one point. We having it at one point one point six above one point six. And just like I said, this is also something with the Bitcoin chart doing exactly what Bitcoin is doing. And they're both, they're both, they're, they're, they're both uh, all doing the same thing. So, which of course still have a macro resistance level coming around the 2.16, 2.168 Fibonacci station level. Okay, so it's still sitting around the 1.9, still, 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 oh, still way up. So, the crypto market currently still has lots, 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 lots of movements to do to the upside. And uh, nothing, nothing really is showing this BA, 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 uh, BA apocalypse or something like that, like the social media just spread it across um, on recent price actions. So we're going to look into the crypto dominance um, to better understand what the market has been doing over time. So the, okay, let's look at the crypto market dominance. Okay, right now we have any right now on the crypto market dominance. Still, like I've always talked about this, that we, like, like, uh, we, uh, we saw this bottoming pattern on the crypto market dominance. And and before that, price started heading in an upward direction, and it's normally um, um, all altcoins rallied, rallied to it. So, like I always talk about, as long as Bitcoin remains healthy, as long as Bitcoin sees this move to the upside, as, and, and as long as this remains on a positive slope, Bitcoin and the general crypto market is still going to see this move to the upside. And right now, we've not yet started seeing any, any weakness in stress. So, that's it for that's it for the. Um, Crypto uh, market cap, uh, that's it for the crypto, um, yes, um, dominance, still having this positive slope and no signs of weakness. So let's briefly look at the general, let's look at the general uh, market. Let's look at the general market, um, according to Case Bitcoin. Let's look at the general market and the general key markets, according to Case Bitcoin, to better understand what uh, all other markets as, uh, aside Bitcoin uh, has generally been doing over time. So according to Case Bitcoin, we're going to look at the general the general market according to case bitcoin um to better understand what the market has been um do, 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 do you know what time so i can always say it as long as bitcoin remains healthy as long as bitcoin remains healthy the general the general crypto market the old coins market is going to rally alongside it so i'm um, going to look at um the key markets according to case bitcoin 
to better understand what uh, has been um, going on in the in the um, in the crypto market and what we are more likely going to see happen to price action over time. So. Um, according to case Bitcoin, looks like we're having a technical issue. Okay, now let's um, let's um, okay. According to case Bitcoin, okay, it looks like we're having a technical issue with that. So right now we're going to look at um, like I always talk about the um, the dollar always having this positive correlation um, with um, with the general market, be uh, the general stock market and the general crypto market. So that as long as dollar, like I, I said that on my previous videos, as long as dollar is in this downtrend, the general market, the general market is going to be used as a hedge against dollar devaluation, all right, uh, uh, against dollar devaluation. So right now, this is dollar on the weekly, still having this, we, we saw this, bear, this huge bearish in Gothic candle. And uh, of course, um, like I said, um, when like, um, like on my last video, I talked about dollar breaking off um, a rising wage with the target sitting way, way, way low at, uh, at, at, at the 72 points. So, okay, so and now we've seen dollar have a bearish engulfing candle on the weekly. So, this is a bearish sign for dollar, and we see other markets rally along, um, rally positively against this. So, now dollar still having this negative trend, this negative, uh, negative slope to the downside. And of course, the crypto market, as long as this remains this way, uh, with the target still sitting lo way lower, the crypto market and the stock market is going to see this move to the upside. So, that's it for dollar, all still having a, ne uh, a negative slope and now okay we're going to look at um, we're going to look according to, we're going to look at the key markets we're going to look at the key markets so now we still have bitcoin still stay positive stay positive the s p 500 is still slightly um still start slightly negative we see we already have a, a minus 0 0.12 percent and then we see gold still having gold still green then we have silver we, generally the stock market is 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 ranging and while few are actually seeing this positive um trend to the upside so that's it for that's it for today we've 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 seen what bitcoin is doing we've seen what the general stock market is doing we've seen what dollar is doing we've seen what traders like q and i right now is thinking about the market and what we're more likely going to see <laughs> happen to price over time and as long as like i always say as long as the trend right now that is currently on an uptrend as long as it doesn't get validated just follow it because it is a friend until the end so thanks for watching guys and don't forget if you're new to this channel don't forget to like subscribe share um don't forget to like subscribe share and don't forget as well you can be part of a community where you get up on time updates about what is currently going on in the market and um what's currently going on in the market and as well get to you know get, get to be exposed in lots of opportunities that's available in the crypto space so thanks for watching guys until i come your way next um next time so see you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you next week